Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have more Zombicide first edition goodness. This time we have the expansion Ultimate Survivors number one. Six veteran survivor miniatures, ID cards, experience cards, and rules to play in Ultimate mode. Ultimate Survivors. The world evolved and so did we. We learned in a couple months what a soldier might need years to learn. The lives we had, the people we were, all gone, and we have accepted that. We are survivors, and we are here to bring the future. Sometimes you don't want your favorite survivor's story to end. You want to see him live through countless adventures and evolve in the zombie side world. The experience mode allows you to write your own epic story using experience cards that enhance your survivors and stay with them from one zombie side mission to the next. Will your survivor emerge from the zombie apocalypse as true heroes? The answer is yours. Again, for more information about this expansion, of course, you can go to guillotinegames.com or simon.com as well. And uh, this was released in 2014. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. So we got a bunch of cards and a bunch of stuff. So let's take a look at what we get right off the bat. So right off the bat, we have a bunch of cards. These are experience cards and you get a ton of them. All the fronts are the same. So these are all the main characters that were in the original Zombie Side uh, first edition box set. So these are characters that have gone on through battles and survived your, the first edition. And if you want to have them moving into different editions of the game, uh, you know, from first edition, you can use these characters in their enhanced stats. So let me give you an example. So if you look at this, you'll see several cards for the crowbar. So as they gain... Uh, you know, they go through each different scenario, they gain strength, become more hardened veterans, they get different type of, you know, different skill set with that weapon. So if they start off the crowbar, they may have a plus one damage with the crowbar, get plus one damage with crowbar skill. But as they enhance, now they get plus one die in melee. Get the plus one die melee skill for all melee actions using this crowbar. Then it goes up again, plus one free melee action. action. Get the plus one free melee action skill for all melee actions done with this crowbar. Now you get plus one dice roll in melee. Get the plus one dice roll melee skill for all melee actions done with the crowbar. Then starts with the crowbar. Get the start with the crowbar skill. So that's going to be the first one. Okay, so you go from being a starter, gaining all these additional skills, and then you get up to the, you become a swords master with your crowbar. Get the sword master skill for all melee actions done with a crowbar. So again, so if you go through one, two, three, four, five, six missions, now he's the expert in the swordsman with that crowbar. And he, they do this for all kinds of weapons. Okay, so put this down here. So you get the double barrel shotgun, same thing. You do it with a fire axe. with a hand cannon, with a katana, a knife, lockpick. Survivor can use this experience card for free once during each of his activations. Survivor spends one action to open a door without needing a door opening equipment card. It doesn't make noise. Other prerequisites still apply, such as taking a designated objective before the door can be opened. Mac 10, 44 Magnum, free reload. It says survivor can use this experience card for free once during each of his activations. He reloads a reloadable weapon or an equipped pair of dual reloadable weapons for free. AK-47, assault rifle, automatic shotgun, baseball bat, bow, Chainsaw, claw hammer, crossbow. So that's one deck of cards that you got received. 
in this box. And you also get an additional set for additional weapons. Sawed off, shock, sawed off. I got a shotgun, submachine gun, sword, urban mace, Winchester, zombie knuckles, machete, MP5, nightstick, pistol, rifle, SBF, a saber, and there's your sawed-offs, your two, three sawed-offs. So these are your cards, these are your experience cards that you can receive, again, to expand your game. Also have in here a couple more things. You also have a rule sheet. Let me show you this real quick. This is cool too. Ultimate Season One Experience Mode explains to you how you gain it. Uh, playing in Experience Mode allows survivors to earn experience cards. These work like skills and enhance the survivor's abilities. Equipment and experience points still reset between games, but experience cards remain from one game to the next until the survivor is defin defin definitively eliminated or discarded. Okay, example. Okay. Love it. Pictures in here, experience cards, and how to use the and examples of how to use the game, the, the, the uh, cards on a second game. Okay. And more examples. There you have it right there. And the cool artwork as well. So there's your rule book for this expansion. And then you have your cards for each of your characters that you receive a new figure for. Again, these are all the main characters that are in the Zombie Side First Edition box set. Uh, but these are the ultimate versions of them, obviously. So you got Amy, uh, get your plus one free move action, medic plus one action, plus one free combat action, plus one free move action, plus one combat, plus one dice to roll combat, and bloodlust. Bloodlust and medic can all, all those rules are found in the zombie side um, first edition uh, rule book. So if you need to figure out what those traits are, you would have to look those up in the, the actual game, uh, in the core boxes uh, rule book. And of course, as you know, you have these, uh, clips that go on here and the clips start here at blue and as you kill zombies the stronger and stronger your character becomes but again the more enraged they become and more that will come out during the game so there's your amy card as a as a normal and you have the zombie side as well where she's a medic here again it's hit and run and dreadnought walker all those are changes when she becomes the undead and she comes back so that's amy We've also got Doug. He's got hoarding, uh, matching set and hoard. He's got plus one action, plus one combat, plus one free combat action, uh, ambidextrous and full auto. He's got, flip it over to the zombie side. He has matching set hoard still. He's got Reaper, ambidextrous, full auto and zombie link. Again, gotta go to the rule book to find out what those traits mean. Again, we got Josh, we got Slippery, we got Jump, Lucky, again, plus one dice roll, plus one free combat, plus one free move action, plus die, die in combat, plus one action. And the zombie side one, again, Slippery Jump remains, Melee, Bloodlust now pops in, and also Reaper pops in. That's Josh. Then we have Ned, then you got Scavenger, plus one free search. Plus one action, plus one die combat, plus one free combat action, uh, plus one die in combat, plus one two die roll for combat, and then shove. Flip it to the zombie side. He's a scavenger, ranged action, reaper, regeneration, and shove. Regeneration is added when it goes to the zombie side mode. And then you got Phil. He's a, he starts with a shotgun, he's a lifesaver. He's a born leader and he's a sniper. 
plus one ranged, plus one free combat action, plus one ranged, and plus one action. Shotguns, of course, bring noise. I'm gonna drop a noise marker whenever he uses that. Then again, he's a, this is the zombie side. Lifesaver, ranged action. You got the zombie link this time, and he still got the sniper. Okay, that's Phil. And last but not least, you have Wanda on her roller skates. She's got two zones. She can move to two zones per move action, and she's got the bloodlust in melee. Plus one action, plus one dice rolled melee, hit and run, plus one damage melee, plus one die in combat, and plus one free move action. So that's her regular side, and then she goes zombie side mode. Again, two bonus moves per action. She's got bloodlust. She's got regeneration this time, and then she has death, death grasp as well. So that's your new characters included in the box. And again, there this is the ultimate version. So here you go. And your figures come in a nice tray. And of course, you got your clips right here. And there's your Wanda figure. Just like any Simon figure. They she's got her roller skates and she's got the chainsaw. And she's gonna get busy with. It. There it is. That's the first character. That's Wanda. And then you have the girl here who's got her sword. I believe that's a pistol in her hand or a shotgun in her hand. Just like any other Simon figure, high detail and great cast. The orange ones, those are always kind of tricky to pick out detail on camera. Just because they're kind of, it's got that weird color. It just makes the camera kind of look. But there he is. Again, you've got the knives, the shotguns. These are just more hardened veteran than what they came in the original box. That's really what these are, hardened veterans. That's kind of the way you would look at them. That's his figure. The red's kind of hard to look at as well. If you pick out all the detail on camera. But there he is. And last but not least, we got him with the double Uzis. There you go. And again, your clips, six of those. And that is everything that's included in this unboxing of Zombie Side First Edition Ultimate Survivor. Six veteran survivors, miniatures, ID cards, experience cards, and rules to play in ultimate mode. Of course, brought to you by Cool Money or Not and Guillotine Games. As always, thank you so much for joining me on this unboxing video. It's truly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, you could always hit it, give us a thumbs up. You could always uh, leave a comment below. And of course, you could always hit that subscribe button. This way, uh, you could be kept up to date as to any new unboxing videos that are or any new content that's released to the page. As always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day, and I'll catch you on the next unboxing video.